This is an activity called listening to the first chapter and it's a great activity in a situation where the whole class are reading the same book. And you can do this one of two ways. You can either read it, read the first chapter as I'm going to do now to you, um, or you can use the MP3 uh, that comes with the book and so the students can listen uh, to, to that. Uh, so either way it is fine. Um, so I'm going to read the very first part of the first chapter of my book, Light. And uh, the main character in my book is called Arda. And as you listen to uh, the very first part, I just want you to think about what you find out about Arda in, in, this, in the beginning of the book. What do you find out? Chapter 1, the beginning. What do you mean, destroyed? Arda sat up in her bed suddenly. A few moments ago she'd been fast asleep. Now she was listening to Timur Datka, the head librarian from the National Library, on the telephone as he told her that her sculpture, together, had been broken into thousands of pieces. But who? The librarian told her that it was the Banda military police. I couldn't do anything with Carlos, he said, obviously sad. They just came in and destroyed, well, almost everything. Arda felt a lack of feeling come over her body, like she'd taken a painkiller. Datka was going on, angry now, his voice rising. Uncolastian, they called it, he said. There, well, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Arda fell back onto her bed. Daska was still talking, but she couldn't listen to him anymore. In her head was the scene of the band of military police in their ugly brown uniforms, taking a hammer to her sculpture. Her beautiful sculpture. She imagined the thousands of pieces of stone lying on the floor of the library entrance hall. She remembered the many months of work, the love that she put into her creation. She remembered the feel of the stone as she shaped it. She remembered the day she'd finally finished it and how she'd felt as she looked at it. Something had been torn from her and it was painful. She felt a tight feeling that rose from her stomach into her throat and then suddenly she was crying. Her cries sounded around the room for a long time. So then I would ask the students, after they would listened to that, either from me or from uh, the MP3, what, what did they find out about Arthur? Well, we find out that she is an artist, she's a sculptor, and she's obviously quite famous because she has pieces in the National Library. We find out that there's some political movement going on in the country, and we find out a number of, of different things. This is a way of getting students into the book and starting to get interested. We might also ask them then, well, what do you think she does next? Right? She's obviously very sad at the moment and very angry maybe. What do you think her next step will be? How does she react? What would you do in this situation if, one, if something that you had created had been destroyed by somebody? So this is a nice way of getting students into a book and it's called Listening to the First Chapter.